you did you did mention uh, you know raising from some uh, pretty amazing uh, investors like at Bessemer and Benchmark, and uh, you know kind of eight years of not announcing. So uh, could you share a little bit more about you know that that journey, maybe kind of going back to you know your earliest rounds and what it was like? Yeah, it, it wasn't easy. It definitely wasn't always easy. Uh, you know, I've I've uh, attempted to fundraise several times and succeeded. Uh, you know, a handful of them as well, and. Uh, you know, my personal experience is like, it kind of goes one of two ways. Either it goes like super smoothly and super well, or it is painful, it drags out. And in, in my experience, I, it like often doesn't get done <laughs> in that scenario, or at least I say like, hey, it's no longer worth it. And so, you know, I actually end up talking to a lot of founders about fundraisers and like, you know, I... Um, uh, you know, I think again, I, I I'm one data point, and so I I talk about my own experience, but but I I really like to have the company be in like a really really strong position for a fundraise. Like I I obviously I like to fundraise when it's easy, not when it's hard, basically. And so that might be a function of how the market is doing. It may be a function of like where the business is um, at the moment. Um, but it's it can be such an uphill battle and I've fought some of those uphill battles and then eventually been like, never mind, I'm not gonna fundraise right now. Uh, and then I've also had experiences where like I've uh it just like come together really smoothly, really like you know, the, my dream investor, right? And so uh and so I think focusing on the traction of the business, just like really being heads down and being like, how do I make this business so compelling that like You'd be crazy to say no. Um, Cambly's also been cash flow positive for the last five years. Uh, and that was something that we got to not necessarily by choice. Uh, our hand was forced. Like we went out to raise a Series A in 2017 and uh, it did not go as planned. We did not get the uh, reception we were expecting. Um, and that was pretty stressful because we actually weren't in a great position at the time. Uh, we were burning a decent amount of cash. We didn't have a lot of money in the bank. Um, and, and we basically had, we brought the team together and we're like, hey, we were going to raise a series A. It didn't work. Um, here's plan B. And plan B is we're going to get the company to cash flow positive. And it was an intense uh, and highly focused form, you know, period. But but over the span of four months, um, we we took a company that was yeah, burning a lot of cash, not a lot of the money in the bank, to a company that was cash flow positive. Um, and then, and then, like a year later, uh, we went back to a lot of those same investors that had said no uh, in 2017, uh, and we basically had grown the business a ton without any external capital. Uh, we'd basically done what we said we were going to do if they gave us money uh, without the money, uh, and it was super compelling. And so, you know, we ended up getting four term sheets uh, for the for the Series A and. Um, and they were all people that had passed in one form or the other um, a prior year. So it just like it was such a different experience that uh, I guess one, I was like, cool, it's really nice to fundraise from a position of strength. Um, how do you put the company in like, and, and these investors are smart people, like you just make a better company and they're more <laughs> likely to be interested. Uh, the less the irony is the less you need the money, the more likely they're going to want to give it to you. And so uh, I just tend to focus on those things. And um, and you know we've kept the company cash flow positive ever since, and so uh, I think that that makes the fundraising uh, uh, you know a lot smoother in, in my opinion. Uh, and you know that you know that was one attempted and sort of failed fundraise, but we had previous ones as well where, yeah, kind of for me it sort of went one way or the other. <laughs>